Hey guys so if you want to be taking my signal this is how you should layer so let me explain to you guys because some people keep asking me this question why am i adding on the losing trade i don't add on the losing trade it's just that the right loss size or the amount of loss size I want to use on that particular trade, I have not used it finish. That's why you see, that's why you will see me keep adding when trade is going against me. It's not just that it's not that I'm adding on, the, I'm adding on the losing trade. So this is the reason here. For instance, if I'm selling, if I decided to sell good at this level. And my stop loss is like 100 pips. Let me drag this up. My stop loss is like 100 pips, which is yeah somewhere here. And I want to risk $1,000 on this trade. So for this is my entry, and I'm risking $1,000. So the right loss size for me to use on this 100 pips. So that if I lose this trade, I will only lose one thousand dollars. Is one standard loss size, which is one point zero zero. This is the one thousand. This is the one standard loss size I should use. So if I lose this trade, I will only lose one thousand dollars. But now I'm not going to use this one standard loss size. I'm not going to just use it and enter this trade here. No. What I'm going to do is that I will use 0.1 in one position 0.1 again or it should be so that's what I'm going to use 0 0.1 0 0.1 so I will keep lay layering this when market is going against me. So I will use 0 .0, 0 0 0.01, 0 0.01 into 10 places, which total will be one standard loss size. So it will be like use 0 0.01 here, and use 0 0.01 here, use 0 0.01 here, use 0 0.01 here, use 0 0.01 here, use 0 0.01 here. Immediately I exhausted the 10 layer, which is one one which is one standard loss size. I will stop. And again, somehow this is a very good money management because if I use this one standard loss size here and this will go against me, I will lose $1,000. But if I use 0 0.01, 0 0.01, if I layer it, it means that from this level to this level, I'll be losing hundred dollars, and if I enter another layer here, from here to here, I might be losing like maybe ninety dollars. The one I entered at this level, I might be losing like eighty dollars. The one I enter at this level, I might be losing like maybe sixty or seventy. The one I enter at this level, I might be losing more or lesser. So at the end of the day, if I lost this trade, I might be losing like maybe eight hundred dollars or even seven hundred dollars. It might not get to $1,000. So somehow, it's, it's good because you are kind of doing money management that is to reduce what you supposed to lose. And another, adv another advantage of this is the one you enter at this level, before it will get here, you will be in profit. You might even start closing the ones you enter at this level when this market gets to here. Or you will still leave. Or then immediately the trade start running like 50 pips. 50 pips in your favor. You will start closing these ones here. The first one you entered, all these ones, you start closing them. On that 50 pips profit is giving you at least you have secured some profit already and the, the other layers which is the one that 
up here, you move your stop to entry points and leave those ones to run. So if market decides to go back and take you out, you're already in profit, you made money because you have closed some positions. And if market keep running, you will make more. So this is how I layer this. Sometimes I, I allow it to be five pips different. Something like five pips different. If market going against me, five pips, I add one layer. If you're going against me under five pips, I add another layer. If you're going against me under five pips, I add another layer. Or you can still use 10 pips differences. You can still use 10 pips differences. If you're going against you 10 pips, add one layer. Going against under 10 pips, add one layer. Going against under 10 pips, add one layer. I can also do it this way. So this is how I layer my trade. It's good because it will give the opportunity to close some positions immediately is in profit. You know that, okay, even if market end up going against you, you have secured some profit. Because this forex trading is a probability game. Nobody can predict 100% where it's going. Even if you predict it goes against, it doesn't mean that you know. You don't know. It's just that you predicted and seen go to your favor. You don't know. Because if you're 100% sure, know that this trade is going, at, is going to go to your favor. You, as in, you will even borrow money and put inside. You will even low, go and loan money and as in, put your life savings on it. Because you are sure that it's going down there. But we are not sure. So that's why sometimes it's good you layer and when it's going... When it's going to your favor, you close some and leave some to secure some profit. So this is how I layer, guys. If you want to trade my signal, you can do it this way. When I send it out, don't use all the loss size immediately. Just split it into five. Depends on what you are risking or what your loss size is. Just split it, then enter it one by one. Why the trade is going against us? Because sometimes... If you enter trade, definitely it will go against you to some certain level before maybe it will start going to your favor. And sometimes it will go to your favor immediately, but nobody knows how it's going to play out. So that's why it's good you divide the loss size you are using and enter it layer by layer, enter it layer by layer, guys. So see you guys in another video, guys.